first, and I'll catch you on the way down. I don't know if they're gonna be able to get away. Bye. Shit. I got it. Clem, look out. How many bullets were in that fucking handgun? Four thousand bullets. Sucks, her legs all fucked up. Look at that stupid bitch mini. This first. Okay. Flim. I got you. Okay. Go. I'm right behind you. Lime. Lime. Lime, I said, God damn it. Keep climbing. Grab on. Oh my god, she's gonna fucking get bit. Watch. This is the last episode. She's gonna get bit. I'm calling it right now. Yup, what did I say? What the fuck did I say? She got bit. Did it only go did it only bite the boot or did she really get No, he's eating her foot. Oh my god. I fucking called it. Final episode, she gets bit. This is fucked up. I immediately called it and then it happened. Oh my god. After all this, now she gets fucking bit. After seven fucking years of this shit. Clem. For what? Your leg. Because of stupid Minnie? Because of stupid bitch who fucking defies plot? <laughs> yeah, he ate it. The zombie ate it. Right? I think the zombie ate it. Show yeah, okay. There's the teeth marks. Okay. At least it's clear. Not only did her leg get fucking chopped by bullshit, then it gets eaten. I got bit. Yep. Well, that's it for her. Fucking bullshit. Thank you, Xbox One is garbage for the dollar tip and an anonymous two dollar tip. Sorry, guys, but we're a little bit into plot here. I'm not really going to be responding to questions and stuff you're asking. <clears throat> well, you're fucked. Come on. We can't stay here. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Oh! Keep moving forward. Forward. Well, she's dead. There's no cure. There's no way you're gonna save her. Look, goodbye. Trophy, goodbye. That's it. She's fucked. So she's gonna be out by the end. This sucks. This sucks because there's probably like an hour left. I don't even care. She's gonna die now, so who gives a fuck? <laughs> the one character I care about is gonna, is gonna be dead, so I don't care. Oh my god. Kind of very similar to what happened to Lee, only Lee got bit in the next to last episode, if you remember, of the season one. Thought the cure must be in them there woods? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not. Uh. Exactly, death by bad writing. That's all it is, because Minnie's fucking horseshit. How the fuck did Minnie 
managed to not get bit by all those zombies. They walked by her and ignored her. Then they eat her afterward. It's fucking bad writing. It really is. Stop thinking about it, AJ. There's nothing we can do. There's gotta be something. We have to focus on getting back. Keep moving forward. Tobias Alexander said, how did Minnie survive her sweet psych grenade attack? James I don't know. How, how did Minnie get through all the fucking forest with those zombies on her tra tail? Why didn't Minnie turn when she got bit in the fucking, in the arm, in the face? None of it makes any sense. They just rewrote the plot completely, or rewrote the rules for the stupid plot device to can, can, uh, Clem get bit. It's really bad writing, in my opinion. It's stupid as fuck. It's empty now. We'll be safe in there. How do they still have bullets? Seriously. Oh my god, there's so many of them now. This is insane. Move! Go, AJ, run! I'm right behind you. Oh my god. Back to the shed from what was it, episode one? It was either one or two, I can't remember. Get up, Clem. You're gonna die anyway, so this is all futile, but get up. Yet more infinite bullets. Come on, Clem. We can make it. I would have closed the door or barricaded with something. Or what? Oh, hello! We control him somehow. Stab his ass. Going. Actually, it's probably more annoying because he would probably get stuck in the pitchfork and he wouldn't be able to get it out. This is probably a bad idea. Yeah, like that's gonna hold. Why would that hold against a ton of zombies? It wouldn't. It would snap immediately. <laughs> we need to get those pinballs closed before they break through. Oh my god, she fell immediately. Get up. Cover me. With the infinite bullets in this clip, cover me. <laughs> We've only fired about two dozen so far in a single clip. Don't ask me how many are inside that clip. No, I 
want to come in. <laughs> I heard you have Netflix in there. I want to see it too. Netflix, we all want Netflix. We want to see WrestleMania and we know you have WWE Network. Knife. I don't even know what's going on anymore. It's like doing an infinite amount of quick times here to close doors or something. Oh, look, a snack. A little delicious morsel. Let me just take a little bite. Oh, how dare you. Oh, my God. It never ends. There's too many. Finally, the infinite clip ran out. Seriously? Stun, then kill. Oh, luckily this zombie walked right by me. Look. It literally was walking by me, ignoring me. Oh, then it, then it ate me. All right. He was walking by. I pressed circle. It showed circle. I pressed circle. Nothing happened, and then he just dies. All right, so circle. Look, circle. All right, it worked this time, I guess. It didn't work before. Another one. Keep doing it. Just kill them all. Kill every zombie one by one, like 400. By the way, I don't understand what's keeping these doors closed to begin with when he closes them. There's no latch or anything. Uh, there's, look, there's no latch. Yeah, there is. There's no hinge. There's no lock. The door just stays closed for some reason. to find a way out of here. We could climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come yeah, on. right. She can't even move. She's turning into a zombie. Please. Easy climb. Try. You can't give up. You can't give up. I need you. She's turning. I need you. Oh, come on, kid. Don't be upset. This is just what happens sometimes. But it wasn't supposed to happen to you. <laughs> My little goofball. It's Alvin Jr. You'll always be goofball to me. <laughs> hey, look at me. Hey, Jane, please. You're such a cutie. How did I get so lucky? Silly right now. Not right now. Please. Sir. I just wanted to see you smile. One last time. Don't say that. Please. Don't say that. 
I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never... Never go alone. So... So I can't leave. Not without you. AJ... It's your rule! You won't be alone. Not for long. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... Uh... Cover yourself in the, in the disgusting <laughs> walker juice. Juicy walker just waiting to be gutted. Yuck. Yuck. Use the axe. Grab that axe. And you know what to do with it. Get that intestine necklace going. By the way, you notice... Hold on. You notice that they've been wearing the same clothes pretty much for the whole thing, yet somehow after they cover themselves in walker juice and shit, the clothes are miraculously clean later on, even though they never explain how. Just another Your plot hole. Monsters come. Clem. AJ. Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There is a... Boingo Boingo says, stop pausing, please. Okay, I'll stop pausing. Anymore. Relax. <laughs> okay, then. Fuck. And the last rule. I, I want to stay with you. I know what'll happen. And I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and... Stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. Ah, to no one would hurt us. Just sitting. Forever. Must have be Please. stuck there forever. Let me stay. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. You to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Yeah, pretty much this is the same as the ending of That's season not, one. No. They're trying to make it come full circle, but didn't do a very good job at the writing. Are you gonna make me say it? AJ, hey, you have to kill me. Become one of them. Be a good boy. Kill me. No. We always knew it was going to come to this. Like, I seriously felt that it was always going to come to this. That was going to lead to this, and that was going to be it, you know? I did. I felt like it was going to keep... She was gonna die no matter what because of bad writing. And it would have been alright if it wasn't made sense, like she sacrificed herself or something. But it's so lame the way she's dying here. Bad. She, she died to bad to bad plot. And that's what I don't like. If she died, like Lee died because he's trying to save them, it was an accident, you know. This is just fucking stupid. It really is. Very stupid.
No swaggins. There's no. He's trying to justify the, the the mini thing. There's no justification of the mini thing at all. There's none. It was just really bad writing, guys. Just face it. <laughs> Pretty bad. The fork. Was that a horse? A horse. Uh. <laughs> Who's this? It looks like Clem. I'm coming. Yeah, it looks like Clem with her hat on. What the fuck is this now? Oh, uh, this is definitely some kind of a dream stay. What the? Where the fuck are we? The Alamo? Ha ha ha! The hell is this? Leg is fine, so this is definitely a dream state. Okay. Fort McCarroll? What the fuck is this? I'm looking for a boy. He's about three years old. His name's Alvin Jr. Uh, there's no reason to execute him. He's gonna bleed out anyway. Don't waste the bullet. Don't waste the bullet. Ah, he's got burn. Oh my god, it's fucked up. Please kill me. Where are the children? It hurts. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Alright. He wants it, he can have it. What is this? The ultimate morality choices now? That's what it is. He's suffering and wants to die, so he put, I didn't put him out of his misery. The other guy was already fucked up. Oh my god. Ass fucking knife draw. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that shit. Please. <laughs> oh, I gotta do this again. <laughs> Please kill me. Where are the children? It hurts. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. God damn it. Kill me. Okay. Here we go again. Dying left and right. Okay. Oh, 
sorry. So sorry I have to okay, kill you worry. all. We're leaving soon. I've just gotta grab a few things. No, no. Oh, let me take him. Oh. Uh, she says no, so I thought, oh, maybe I'm not supposed to kill them. Damn it. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Ouch. AJ. I'm pretty sure that's not the modern AJ. This must be like a, a, a fever dream flashback or something. Baby bottle, the key, or the gun. Pick up the gun. Then the key. This really happened is the question. So I guess at one point, remember they taken her him from her? And then they say whatever they threw her out or whatever. So she went back and got him? So, this is and this is after the ending of season three. car. That's how they had the car. And so they were driving for a while. He grew up a bit, you know. They were on the road for a while, I guess. Surviving. Probably not the best time to be cleaning him up. So someone else had already attacked this settlement and she swooped in almost like a vulture. And under the cover of, you know, the people who had already attacked and fucked everything up, she she basically got AJ back. Huh. Okay. Now, where to? Can't 
Go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay. We're survivors. And the first rule of survival is... Never go alone. <laughs> never <laughs> go alone. And never deal with anyone named Minnie because she'll defy all logic and all kinds of plot devices and all kinds of things just to <laughs> make, make me get bit and die at the end. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's right. AJ? I've really missed you. So much. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home. Together. And I'll never leave you again. Wow. 784 final said Arl Stein would write something better than this. The writer of Goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, why didn't Slappy the fucking killer dummy come out and bite Clem or something? <laughs> So that's how they started their journey together on the road in the car. Well, and also how long they lived together like that because, you know, he was so grown up at the beginning of the season. Must have been a big time lapse. Haha! <laughs> Super Slate said it should be called Fantastic Plot Holes and Where to Find Them. <laughs> Wow. That's pretty good. Look, what did I say? Now, none of his stuff is stained from the fucking zombie blood. <laughs> Fuck you, fish. Fuck you, door. Fuck you, fish. Fuck you, PS4 controller! <laughs> there we go. I got it. <laughs> Oh, look who's still with us. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Uh, Is you, Rosie? Goodest girl in the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. All right, girl. I'm gonna go put this beer away. Here's a whole raw Stay fish, girl. Eat it. <laughs> Next Legacy, Judy said, Call me cold-hearted, but I rather would have liked AJ to die. Rest in peace, Clem. Yeah, I know. It's bullshit. It really is. Put the spear away. Why am I looking at all this? I'm supposed to put the spear away. How do I put the spear away? Look at a heart. Look at the sheet. Uh. V plus M. Violet plus Mini. She used to be their friend. They used to be How in love. Just make that go away. Because Minnie was a stupid bitch. That's why. It happens all the time. People who have perfectly good friendships and relationships completely throw it away for absolutely fucking nothing. But I won't talk about that. Anyway. <laughs> well, it looks like a bad place to sleep. There we go. getting kind of cold. I'll 
bring some sticks and stuff next time. Too late. I have a nice cold night now. And here's all the bottles he drinks when he goes on his benders. Here they are. Nothing good. Nothing good. No scotch whiskey here. I should tell Willie this is here in case we need more bombs. Oh, I'm sure you'll be needing more bombs. Pick up a skull. Huh. Uh. Survivor. Silver trophy for picking up a skull. <laughs> what the heck? How silly. <clears throat> oh my god, Clem's hat washed down the river. Oh, come on. No. No. Oh my no. god, he sucks. His little nubby arms. Oh, good yes. dog. It's wet and smells bad. Uh oh, someone else wants the hat. Oh, look who it is. It's Ten. Yup, it's Ten's body turned into a zombie. I'd recognize those beautiful skies anywhere. It was him or Violet. I'm sorry, Tim, but... Mm hmm You were gonna get Violet killed. He's right. I had to do it. He did the right thing. He made the right call. Drive him away. I hear you, girl. I hear you. Goodbye, Tim. Hey, hun. It's getting late. Just coming to check on you. Dinner soon. Okay. I'm all done anyway. That's a good scratching spot. <clears throat> I think it is. Oh, wow. You found her hat. It found me. Okay, hon. Um, I'm gonna go check on a sim over at the rabbit traps. Let's go home. Let's go home. This is it, the epilogue. He lives with them, you know, indefinitely. And the bottom line is, if Telltale Games didn't go under, more than likely they would have made more of these games. They probably would have made the, you know, a new Walking Dead series with the kids as a spinoff or something. But this at least is the logical ending of Clem's storyline, so... It's a shitty and sad one, but, uh, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> is that it? That's it. Wow, that was short, too. That final episode wasn't even an hour and 40 minutes long, I don't think. No, that was short. Oh, boy. Hipster music. So you'll find a mountain path on Well, now a fucking leaf got inside the bucket's contaminated, gotta start over. God damn it. Last year's and mark the trail. 
Well, you get to see who's still alive, I guess. Based on your choices, who survived and who didn't. Take us back, the name of the episode. Oh look, these two are together, they're holding hands. You don't fuck with Texas. Oh, don't fuck with us. I thought they were calling it Texas. Yeah, look who it is. It's the guy they let turn. So they tied him up out here to be a warning to everyone. Don't fuck with us or we'll make your attack. You'll turn your ass. Look at that. Huh. So I guess they've all forgiven him for the killings that he's done. They don't care anymore. This song sucks, I'm sorry. I try not to hate, but uh could have been done a lot of better things. Texas. And that's it. So it's supposed to be his full circle. You know, Lee lost everything, but sacrificed everything he had to train someone, Clementine, to survive. Clementine, same thing, took all the lessons she learned from Lee and in turn trained AJ to become a whole person by the end of the series. So really, The Walking Dead is actually the, the, the whole journey of Clementine, not of any of the other characters when you really think about it. And now AJ is the continuation of that. Fish again? What the hell is this? Where's the prime rib? Wait, what? What the fuck? What? Wait, what? No, 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 you don't get to rewrite the entire fucking rule set of the entire Walking Dead franchise to have a happy ending. You don't get to do that. Oh my god. That is so bad. Are you fucking shitting me? You could see she was dying. She had the infection in her body. Her face was changing fucking color. And now she's magically survived somehow. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Easy there. You're out of bed. You're no. Walking. No, she's dead. And you have wood arm legs. Crutches. Crutches. Oh. I found your hat. It was in the creek down by the shack. I thought I wouldn't get it, but Rosie jumped right in and got it out of the water. It's all wet now. Definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. Oh my god. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you too. Come with me. I want to show you something. Great. Uh... How did they fuck this up so bad? This is bad, man. So, what do you think? A giant donut. Looks delicious. It's is for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. 
No, it's for everyone but you, because your dumbass got my leg chopped off. So fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> I thought this was a monster jet. This is my favorite day ever. Did she ever get to swing? I'm flying. This is fun. I love today. Me too. It's good to see you smile. No. 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 Oh my god. You're the best, Clem. Uh. It's gonna get cold. No. <laughs> I Come can't on. believe it. Let's go eat. Uh We're coming. Exactly the whopper. You have to chop off the limb immediately before the infection spreads through the body. It showed it already had spread when her whole face and eyeballs colors were changing. It's bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. This is the ultimate feel good ending cop out cuz Telltale went under. That's exactly what this is. Because Telltale went out of business, they wanted the employees to feel that their, their well, everything they had done was worth a shit, that it wasn't a horrendous negative ending, and this is bullshit. It is. It's bullshit. That's it. You little fuck. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh my god, what an ending. Ben Boxer, she said, American story equals a happy ending, and X Legacy cheers, and I'm happy she's alive, but I'm with you, Phil. This is horrible <laughs> writing. Wow. You think that's funny now, but what you find out later, she has horrible digestion problems and dies from uh, stomach disease. I could do way better than that. God damn. <laughs> hey, Jay. What? It's good. <sighs> Seconds, please. Already? You even taste that? <laughs> No, we have strict food rationing, you know that. Shut the hell up, you're not getting any more. Why'd you give me a lewd drawing? It's disgusting. <laughs> Idiot. You disgusting fool. How could you give me that nudie pic you drew? <laughs> For the last time, no, we're not having a threesome. I keep telling you no. Stop passing the same note every day. Yeah, that's the spot. A sim says he saw 10, 15 of them, a little bit past the old safe zone. I want you to go. You're the boss. We need to know who they are. Maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who, who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? How about you back me up and we'll find that out together? Word on the street is you're a good running buddy. Best. Sending Violet's smart. She knows what she's doing. That gotcha, kid. That's why I want you to come with. It'd make me feel a lot better if you went. This is the part where you tell me you'll be really, really careful. Oh. <sighs> you okay? Just, just getting tired. Hey, walk with me a sec. <clears throat> 
Don't worry, I know some people are cheering. I'm gonna give you shout outs as the, as the game ends during the credits. Don't worry, guys. Katja. Uh, sorry. <sighs> it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this. I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. You just make a, pros a, a basic prosthetic foot out of like a boot and fill it up with shit and strap it onto that leg. It's okay. I'll make you a new foot. Oh yeah? There must be a foot making book somewhere. That's it. I'll ask Willie. Okay, find me the foot book. <laughs> All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. <laughs> it's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? No. <laughs> of course you did. What are you? Are you crazy? <laughs> nah. Maybe a little. A lot more than a little. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I was right to trust you back in the cave to make the hard calls even when I couldn't see you taught him the right thing You'll yes be strong for the both of us you made it so I can so thank you for everything you're welcome for everything Oh, man. <laughs> Is that it? That's the real ending. Okay. <laughs> no, it's still not over. Wow. Not bitten team. Yeah, look. The still not bitten team. So this is probably all the people who worked on the game over the years. They probably put them into the credits, even though a lot of them probably weren't even employed anymore by Telltale, because Telltale went under. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, look. Rob was here. As a special Easter egg, you can enter this room instead and do something different. No, they won't let you. All right. <clears throat> okay, okay. In you go. I figured they were going to let you go to your room at some point because you had those collectibles, right? It's your final chance to put collectibles in here. Yeah, see? 
For those people who absolutely need to have every that fucking looks collectible. Like it bad. I won't lick it. Mm -hmm. I won't. <laughs> Place the skull. <clears throat> I wonder who you used to be. Home at last. Place the hat. Place Clementine's hat. She doesn't need it anymore. She's evolved. Oh wait, there's one more thing to place. The last thing you do is place Clementine's hat. All right. Place the Calypso cauliflower on the bed. <clears throat> you completed the set. Junior, you ready to rock? The whole veggie set. Actually, I think there's one missing. And the crystal. It's so cool looking. I wonder if it has magic powers. Yeah, can it resurrect Telltale? <laughs> can it make them not overstagnate their own market by producing too many low-quality games? Nah. Nah. Can't. Damn it. Alright, we're done. I'll actually pet the dog one last time. <laughs> Alright. Now we're done. Seven years, guys. Seven years. The Walking Dead ends right now. I'm coming. Thank you for playing. Thank you for seven years. I honestly wonder if it feels like a different experience if you play them all like close. You know what I mean? Like if you played seasons one through four within the, sp the span of like a year, maybe it would feel different. Well, most players told AJ to make his own decisions. Most people let Violet rename the school herself. Most people ask AJ to kill you rather than let you become a walker. You and only 29% of players spared 10 after he became a walker. Wow, a lot of people killed him. Most people trust him. Yeah, there you go. Same ones, right? Yeah. Anything else? James was thankful you respected his beliefs and spared the walkers. He felt later when you said there might be more walkers, but he was relieved when you said you wouldn't I let it. It's still playing over there. Or you can minorly hear it over there because I have my speaker on a low. Boy, that is fucking annoying. James was relieved when you said you wouldn't let AJ become a killer. He's shaking. Louis felt discouraged when you chose to spend time with Violet instead of him and he was traumatized after his capture. Ten's death left him feeling devastated. <clears throat> Ten is dead. Well, we know about that. <clears throat> Lily is fucking dead. Violet, you and zero percent of players left Violet feeling zero. That's not even possible because it can't be zero. It says Violet was exhilarated when you confessed your feelings for her. She felt vengeful after she watched the Raiders take Lewis. She was embarrassed when you didn't want her to hear why she was sent to Erickson, and she was grief stricken about ten. I'm the only player in the entire world that made the exact same choices with Violet, of course. And apparently, I missed a collectible. Oh darn. <clears throat> All the different things that Clem taught you. There you go. <clears throat> Here's all your choices over the episodes. A recap of all the episodes for this season. Yeah, showing your various choices. Continue. Okay, it's over. Thank God. Fucking terrible fucking music. So that is it. For The Walking Dead, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be very honest with you. I thought that ending sucked. I did, like... I thought, okay, you're going to have a happy ending, then have a happy ending, not, oh, here's a really cheesy, you know, suspenseful cliffhanger that you think is going to be one thing, 
And if you actually followed the lore of both the, the comics, the TV show, and the games up to this point, it should have been one thing. Oh, bait and switch to get you all upset and emotional. And by the way, it's something completely different. Oh, by the way, the whole reason that Clem ever got bit in the first place was a stupid reason because Minnie was superhuman and avoided the zombies, but then ends up getting eaten by them anyway. I'm sorry, it really was bad writing. And that's a, that's kind of that's kind of disappointing to me because for seven years I've been waiting for the goddamn ending and it finally comes out and it's like, that could have been so much better done. And you could tell it was basically because the studio folded. So they had to bring in people and rush, oh, rush the ending and get it all done, you know. Anyway, let's do a lot of shout-outs here, because people were, were, were all... <clears throat> My laptop would fucking work. There we go. Um, so, Mr. Papavera did a 500-bit cheer that actually made him the top cheerer of tonight, so thank you, Mr. Papavera. He says, that in continuity was, well, I don't know. I did want to make a cheer to say, cheers to Telltale, you will be missed. I really like the stories, and it's a shame it didn't do as well. I have to agree... Because Telltale, for all of its problems, actually did make some amazing games. Like, I definitely thought The Wolf Among Us, the first two seasons of The Walking Dead, um, Tales from the Borderlands, just to name a few, were actually outstanding games. They had some games that weren't so great, but weren't terrible, like Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought that was decent. And hell, I actually liked the stuff before The Walking Dead, like Back to the Future. I actually really liked that game, because I was a huge fan of the Back to the Future movies, and to see that plotline continue in a series of games was actually really neat to me. So, you know, Telltale will always have a place in gaming history. Um, it's just kind of sad that they what happened to them happened the way it did. It would have been good to see them go out on their own terms instead of just implode because they basically didn't have any fucking money. So, it is what it is. Swag is curious, if you use the microscope that they told us to go out and buy for that one specific bite reveal, you would notice the bite didn't actually break the skin and her pale face was due to blood loss. No. It was just bad writing. Rock the Ice Judy said, to be fair, she didn't go pale and her... Wait. She didn't go pale and her, her looking like shit could be from the blood loss from Axe slashing her leg? Uh, no. You could see right in her eyes, her eyes were fucking messed up and bloodshot, which is exactly what everyone else in the series looks like when they're turning. Basically, they, they purposely made her look like she was turning to get you worried and then let her survive, even though it makes no sense. The all, all the lore is, if you get bit, you must immediately remove that limb. If you don't immediately remove it, then you're going to die, and sometimes people still die. People were either even saying, oh, the next cheer here is from Cody Carlson. He says, you could amputate Lee's arm in season one after he got bit. He still died, so I agree with you, this is dumb. The game literally defied its own rules in order to have an out, an established outcome that would be a happy, feel-good ending because this was the end of Telltale altogether and they wanted to have a feel-good ending for it. Which, honestly, is not even in the spirit of The Walking Dead. Look at the, at the endings of the previous three seasons and never has it ended like that. Kanji Monster Cheers said, AJ is going to give Clem a Shinobi leg so she can grapple on ledges. A little Sekiro twist to the ending. And Cody Carl cheered and said, at the end of the day, I'm glad there was a conclusion even if it was a bit silly. I do actually agree there, even if the ending is silly, and not exactly what we were all waiting for, and not exactly up to my expectations, at least there's an ending. I think worst case scenario would have been if we never got the ending, if Telltale went under, and nothing ever happened, you know what I mean, like nothing ever came of anything, that would have been pretty bad. So at the very least, I agree with you, at least there was an ending, it wasn't a great ending in my opinion, it was really bad writing, but at least we got our ending, and you know what? At least now we can say the legacy of Telltale is completed. They did finish all their games, and Telltale will definitely have a place in history. Like I said, you know, we, all the way going back in, I think it was like 2009 or 2010 when I played the Back to the Future game, all the way through 2019, it was a big part of my time making videos and gameplay for the internet. <clears throat> the choose-your-own-adventure genre. I guess right now, really, the only company still doing it would be Square Enix with Life is Strange 2, right? So, will anyone else ever pick up the reins? Oh, then again, you guys say Quantic Dream, but they only make a game every few years, right? So, I don't know. Um, will will ever will we ever see what what happens with, with this this genre? Will there be more games in this genre? Will will you know the people who worked for Telltale make a comeback and end up making more games like this, or is this it for the choose your own adventure style genre? Like, I think Life is Strange is still doing all right. Um, Quantic Dreams hit or miss. Actually, Detroit Become Human was a big hit for them. So, at least to some extent, we will still see these games. It's just a shame that this era is over. And there are a lot of games, for example, The Wolf Among Us, Game of Thrones, Guardians of the Galaxy. These were franchises that people wanted to see continue. In particular, The Wolf Among Us, everyone wanted a part two of that. 
and now we, we're never going to really see it, right? So it is a shame, but that's life, I guess. You know, the company had way too big aspirations, overextended its budget, crazy amount of spend, 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 and never made up the money they needed to continue going. So, first of all, for The Walking Dead, the Telltale series, um, overall, I did enjoy it, and I do think it's a great series. This would be a great series for like 60 bucks. You could buy the whole thing, because think about how long it is. Every episode's two, two, at least two hours, and you're talking five episodes for the first three seasons, so that's what? Um shit i mean that's at least 10 hours a season so you're talking like 40 50 gameplay hours right for for this that'd be a pretty good package to sell all of them together i think um <clears throat> then again i have no idea who actually holds the reins and who owns the rights to the games now that telltale is under so i don't know who the money and profits for that would even go to um but that being said um i'm glad that the walking dead had an ending and for a, a game that basically i've played for seven years uh, I'm happy to see it end, even though I didn't really particularly like the ending. I want to say thank you to anyone who joined me along this journey, this seven-year journey that Telltale created for us. It's kind of funny because when I started with these games back in 2011, 2012, whenever it was, The Walking Dead was like the height of popularity. It was like the hottest thing. And now fast forward, you know, seven years later, and The Walking Dead has waned and no one really cares that much about it anymore. Even the series, you know, has kind of went off the rails. And it's funny how things that are popular can change so quickly in such a short amount of time, right? Um, but also, I want to say, you know, thank you to Telltale, because even though this wasn't my cup of tea for the ending, I have very much enjoyed over the last almost 10 years playing Telltale games, enjoying them. They added a, a facet of new content to, to my, my gameplay that people liked. And even though now I'm a live streamer, and they don't, honestly, they don't really fit live streaming formula very well, I couldn't really interact with anyone during tonight's stream because I had to be hyper-focused on the story of the game. Back when I was a YouTuber, they were actually one of the best things I did. Playing Telltale games was, like, really fun to just be watching the, the story and reacting to the story because I wasn't distracted by a stream chat, right? You know, it's just things change and evolve. It's just, you know, much like what happened with Telltale as a company, content creation changed too you know what i mean it's not just about doing that offline playthrough anymore it's about the online interactivity element to it um <clears throat> so it is what it is thank you very much anyone whether whether you watched all of my walking dead playthroughs from start to finish from way back when in 2012 whenever they started up to now whether you were a newcomer who jumped in along the course of the time that i played these games thank you very much i hope you enjoyed my playthroughs of them and you know Thank you, Telltale, even though you don't exist anymore. Thank you for the memories. Thank you for the gameplay experiences. And uh, thanks for being a part of my life, honestly, because it was. These kind of choose-your-own-adventure games were a major part of my development as a content creator, and I think people really enjoyed my playing of them. And even though that's it for Telltale, um, you know, we never know what the future will hold. Like I said, for the genre, there are other companies still doing it. So thanks very much, everyone, for everything. And... Uh, that's it. Goodbye, Telltale. And thank you, everyone, for The Walking Dead, for Clementine, for Lee. This is Darkside Phil signing off. Thanks a lot and peace out.